Hi everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes and we're coming to you with another awesome cake decorating tip and this one is about how to avoid those ugly air bubbles that sometimes appear in our cakes. So I get a lot of emails and a lot of questions from our viewers and they tell me that they have problems with air bubbles all of a sudden appearing the next day after they've covered their cakes with fondant. So I'm going to show you how we avoid air bubbles. So tip number one, if you haven't already seen our tutorial on how to dam and fill cakes, I highly recommend that you all see that tutorial. You'll, you'll see the link right here. And this cake here is a nice little six inch round red velvet cake and it's already been dammed and filled and crumb coated. It's got three layers so I've got two layers of filling and again very important to dam before you fill. But sometimes when we do that air bubbles still want to come out and the reason that is is because if you ice your cakes maybe a day or a couple of days after you've baked your cake when your cake starts to come to room temperature gravity wants to take over and the cakes start to sink down just a tiny little bit. So whenever this happens, you're going to have any tiny little air pockets that were trapped in between your layers, they're going to start to get pushed out and where they get pushed out are in the sides between your layers of cake. Okay, so this is crumb coated and what I do before I add my second coat of icing, which I also have a tutorial if you haven't seen that, check it out on how to ice your cakes. But what I do is I use a six inch lolly stick. The majority of our cakes are about five and a half inches tall. And this is the way to avoid air bubbles. So all I do is I take my six inch lolly stick right after I crumb coat my cake. And I'm going to place it right in the center of the cake here. And I'm inserting it perfectly straight. Okay? So there it is. And all I do is just widen the hole just a tiny little bit. And then I take it back out. Okay, of course this goes in the trash. So, what I've done here is I've basically created a way of escape for any air that's trapped inside the layers of cake. So air is going to take the path of least resistance. So instead of any air wanting to come out the sides of the cake, it's not going to come out the top of the cake. And you don't have to worry about any air bubbles appearing the next day on your cake. So what I do is I leave my cakes crumb coated in my refrigerator overnight and tomorrow I'll be icing them and adding that second thick coat of icing and I don't have to worry about my cakes having air bubbles because I'm giving the cake an entire night for gravity to take over. And so if any air escapes, it's going to happen tonight through this little hole. Alright guys, so I hope this tip helps you and this should avoid any ugly air bubbles appearing in your cakes but again keep in mind make sure that you are damming and filling your cakes before you crumb coat. Alright guys let us know if you have any questions and visit us on Facebook you'll see all the links underneath the video and thank you for being a crazy cool subscriber. Take care everybody. Bye bye. Take care. God bless y'all.